Hey, I'm Garrett Hoffman. The last couple of months, I've been reworking my studio space, and I've made some significant changes to the way I organize my storage that I want to show you. So quite a while ago, I had the idea of using the cardboard boxes that were left over from my filament to use them as a storage container. And I designed up this little uh, nifty design for the boxes so that then they would sit on my shelf like this. And it worked all right, but it was a little bit cumbersome to adapt to it. And it was kind of a pain to set up. They're really just a, like a sheet of printer paper that's been taped on. They're a little flimsy. So for the next iteration of these boxes, I decided to design these. Uh, they're just 3D printed with enough space for a half inch sticker and a full one inch address label sticker. That way they're easy to adapt and change to. They have a couple of holes in the bottom that allow me to attach them to the box. So let's go ahead and do that now. So for this, I ended up purchasing some 8 by 8 by 3 cardboard boxes. This process works the exact same for your existing filament boxes. Uh, I wanted to get a nice uniform look for these though, so I ended up purchasing some. So it then it's a little bit of a cleaner aesthetic. So to set this up, all I'm going to do is place the print on here. And I'm actually going to use a couple of M5 screws or bolts just to uh, kind of punch them through. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get through the cardboard. So just take the drill and just kind of pop it in just like that. Now with this, I have two options. One, I can go ahead and just use the M5 bolts that are in here and just put some nuts at the other end and tighten it down. That can get kind of costly though, and it doesn't really impact the strength that much to it. So what I'm actually gonna do is pull these out, and now that leaves the holes in the bottom of the box. So I've also designed these little 3D printed pins. Now the, the actual labeling piece, this can be printed in PLA, PETG, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, strength needed for the boxes. The pins, however, definitely need to be in PETG. The way that they, they work is they're going to go through the holes here and pinch on the other side. And if you're using PLA, it's going to be too brittle and it's just going to snap. So PETG gives a little bit more flexibility to them. So I usually take some pliers and just pinch them together. That way they've got a little bit more flexibility to go in. When you do print them, it is gonna be important that they are printed down like this rather than printed up. Because if you print them up, your layer lines are gonna be the weak point and your pins aren't gonna hold up. All right, so we're just gonna poke these pins through the holes and then attach the 3D print. And just like that, we have the attachment to the box. Now the next step is to put the labels on these. So I'm using a half inch square sticker and half it or one inch label address labels so these are just convenient little stickers to put on here for this box i'm going to use these this one for my bearings so we'll peel the bearing sticker off and then we'll find our bearing icon and there we go just like that we are ready for this box to have some bearings in it And now that, these are ready to go on the shelf. Now, one downside with these box designs is that they don't sit perfectly flat. Uh, in order to save filament, I've kept them a little bit thinner. Uh, that means the box can kind of wibble on the shelf like that, along with it setting downward like this. So in order to combat that, I've created these attachment prints. So these just have some little... Uh, notches in them so they will connect like that and then we can put that on the back of the shelf that way the box itself when it's sitting on there will sit on the back here 
That way it has no room to wobble and it won't go back and forth. So now these are all alphabetically ordered. So the next step here is to actually organize these. So there we go, that's my new storage setup. Uh, if you wanna give it a try, all the links for the STLs, the, uh, the stickers that I used and all of that, it's all in the description of the video. So yeah, uh, until next time.